Oh, do I have to take the scholar? Let's go check some YouTube comments. See what people are saying about the blue red decks. I think scholar is just too good. ECD also very, very good. Gaunti, super fun. Fight with Fire, Ketria, Clarion. Let's see. Crux of Fate. Ooh, a Wrath? Or a Gilded Lotus. Wraths are pretty darn good. <laughs> Captain's Log, day 283. Still waiting for a non it draft. My faith is dimming, but I'm still hopeful. Others have given up, but I know the day will come. I just have to stay strong, no matter what. Captain's Log, over. Uh, any other combination than red blue, please? So tired of watching red blue soup. <laughs> uh, I'm never liking a video again, Mr. Blue Red. Although I think they're saying that because I said if this video gets 500 likes, I'll draft something other than blue red. But... Uh. Alright, took the Crux of Fate there. Gonna take probably one of these lands. Oh my god, I have so many packs stacked. What am I doing? I'm gonna take the Temple over the Coast. Over the Blood Crypt. Scry action. Crab, Charter Course. Dude, Crab is just amazing. Who doesn't like a Crab? Ooh. I'll go for fun. Normally I would just take, what, Electrolyze and Wheel to Seize the Spoils, but we'll take Siphon Insight here. Caravan or Outburst, or Karn. Karn's good. Dolos? Or Shatter Skull Smashing. The Field of the Dead decks have really not come together very well. Like, yeah, once in a while you'll get some 2-2s, two but... This hasn't felt like the right cube to do Field of the Dead. You know? Sadly. Doom's very good too. I mean, if I get to take a constructed deck into the limited queues, isn't that a good thing? That just means I'm doing it very right. Do, 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 do. But yeah, like I said, the video at 2 p.m. today on YouTube will not be blue-red. I try forcing a different archetype. Nice, got our Lotus back. Excellent. Did I lose? Probably not. Accentious plays into the 26 months. I mean, I do realize there's good merit to not having exclusively blue-red for YouTube. Hey, got the C's back. Perfect. Dude, this card's just funny, man. One day I'll draft around that card. Momir. All right, a couple of nice pickups here. Chief among them, the clock and the command. Watery Grave, Pathway, Fast and Furious, also fantastic. I'm going to take one of these three mana spells. Uh, I feel like I like the clock too much. And Kolagons is pretty busted. Legit. <laughs> yeah, I like Prismari Command over Kolagons, but both of them are really, really, really good. Alright, I'll take it over Clock. There are replaceable 3-drop rampers. Not my favorite rock, but it's an okay rock. Good enough rock. Well, 
Well, you know what this means. I'm just going to get past a Lutri next. Guaranteed. Passing Reborn here and a Royal. There it is. Jeez, this pack is also insane. Temporal, Silimgars, Marsh, Canal. We just take the command, though. Yeah, Key to the Archive is my favorite. Ooh, could we be a Bombardment deck? We have nine instants and sorceries right now. All right, you know what? This is completely win more unnecessary. Probably will lose me some games as a result of trying to play it, but I'm here for it. Drafting a nice brick curve here. Haunted Ridge looks nice. Eh, I think Double Vision's better than Bombardment. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we can just replace Bombardment now. Sorry, Sahili. Fenskaneda! Thanks for the 95 months. This is also a card that's more win more. Like, completely unnecessary. Let's run both to go win more, more, more. Yeah, we could. I need to fill up down here then. Nothing but twos and threes and maybe some ones if we can. Maybe wheel to play with fire. There's the watery grave. Sorry, inspired ultimatum. Fixing is too clutch. Look at those lands. Beautiful. Um... No, we'll take Pathway over Otawara. That's fine. There was something in this pack we wanted to wheel, but we didn't get it. Wait. What do we have for that one? We have one thing? That's too bad. Maybe we can get some Planeswalkers in pack three. Do, do. Oh, oh, Daddy Bolas. Another really, really good pack, man. I don't need win cons, so... I mean, Bolas would replace, like, Bombardment and Double Vision. It's probably the right choice. But here I'm going to take Celestis or Fable. I think I like Fable, or sorry, Celestis a little bit more. But I don't think it's the best card. I think Fable's better than it. And Bolas is just spicy, but eh, I need cheap stuff. Cheap stuff like the Spire Prophecy. Oh, hey, there's a shoulder. Yeah, wait a minute. I didn't get past Lutri yet. This can't be a real draft. Treasure map, easy. Over Guardian Idol, yes. Might take Cold Steel Heart here over Idol, but I'm going to take Map over Idol. Sorry. Might take Cold Steel Heart here over map. But I'm going to take map over idle. Yeah. Contempt. I would take Opus because we could just cycle it early, you know? I guess we'll take at least one time walk. Ushino Panic! 85 months! Two years! Nah, Xander's been a letdown every time. Do I even have enough instants and sorceries? I have 12 right now, and we have... 21 spells, so yeah. If we can get one or two more good instants or sorceries for the vision and the bombardment. Well, this exiles itself. And isn't this a May? Yeah, you may cast. You don't need to. There's lower hold command, but I don't have any fixing for that. Well, that's not true. I actually have quite a bit of fixing for that. Okay. Counter here or cliff top? I think we want the counter. This is pick seven. 
Yeah. I don't think we're running that. Maybe? I mean, that's not good with some of the copy stuff. Rutha's not bad. Maybe... 14 instants and sorceries. Right, yeah. That tome looks surprisingly playable, but I don't think we want it. We're not running the Sundering. We only have one hit for it right now. So even... We would need at least four, I think. What's the win con? Uh, yes. Alright, don't even need to sideboard. We have no ways to search up a basic, right? So I don't need to run a planes for lore hold. One, two, three, four. That's four, five, six, seven. That'd be eight blue sources. One, two, three, four, five. Might want one more of those, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we also have a blue and a red duel. We don't need the double blue till later, so. Hope your bodies are ready. An aggron, exactly, an aggron deck. So we have two quad weaknesses and we just lose. Uh, you can discard, right? Yeah, yeah. This only this only exiles if it's cast. Like, if I discard it, then that doesn't matter. It's a pretty juicy looking hand. You would still need a, uh... A legendary or a planeswalker, though, to cast it from the graveyard. Obviously, copying Scholar would be sweet, but this way we get to hold up Kindred this turn. And then next turn, we would have been able to go Celestis plus hold it up if we didn't find it. Oh, I punted! Oh, crap. I was supposed to play this on red and play double vision. Oh, well. Not that this is a bad turn, but... Should have had double vision on the battlefield. It's a pretty sad Ravager Worm. <laughs>
No, I don't think it does. Activated ability. I don't think there are any lands with activated abilities in this cube, are there? Oh, right, of course, the flip lands. Doi. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of damage. Well, this is pretty nice, though. I think we might have wanted to hold the Contempt, but either way, we get to cast one spell on our turn and then one spell on their turn, so... Looking pretty good. And I mean, if this just resolves, then easy money. Alright, turns out there are a lot of lands with activated abilities, but like I said, there are no lands with activated abilities, so... I'm right. This is sketchy, but one land gives us Outburst, and then Lotus gives us Black for Crux. Ooh, that is not what we wanted to draw. Oh, they're playing the Flicker deck? Okay, so the Flicker deck's usually not super aggressive. I mean, they can just dump a bunch of creatures, but... Oh? This means I don't flip the map as soon as possible, but I think that makes sense to do. So I'm just going to go Lotus Pass. Stop on our upkeep. What is the wording on cleave? Uh, you might be able to. Wait, no, what is the wording on this? Without paying its mana cost. Who's texting me? Will they discard Lyra? What is... Uh, okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we don't need that. Two, 
Together we cry. Bam. Imagine clicking on the wrong mode. Uh, do I want to pay two life and sack two treasures to cast lower hold command EOT? Yeah, maybe. Be the target of spells or abilities. I think I'm gonna just discard or sack the treasure. Rip. It's all garbage, dude. Garbage. Well, Celestis can start looting us. Some action, hopefully. I get to eat my vessel. Why not sack a land? Or why not sack a treasure instead of a land? Chat, please. These are silly questions. Uh, they're holding up a counter or something. They didn't, uh... They didn't Denic. I'm gonna just get loot and drawn. Gain in life. It's good. Oh. That's annoying. I hope you're ready. Hmm. My judgment is I guess we're losing? Because that exile, so I can't even buy back my scholar. Sheesh. Oh, they missed a damage. Sure. Remember your training. I guess they're gonna kill Celestis. I don't think they need to, but... Yeah, they might kill Lotus. Sure. That's gonna... I think that's better for us. But we're gonna need to find some juice. That ain't juice. What, the, what creatures do I have in my deck? Atris. Yeah, we're just, just and a crab. Oh, ho, 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 that's a creature, so they get a card. <laughs> Cappuccinos. Are we in danger? Yeah, we probably just need to cycle this and draw a card. Okay, that's not bad. I think what I'm going to do here is finish off the Wandering Emperor and then uh, make them discard the last card in their hand. Ooh, that's interesting. Wow! They put double vision alone, that's interesting too. I think we're doing okay now. Damn, that'd be pretty sweet if it was like, uh... Oracle, where I could also see what was on top to see if taking a card with Siphon would make sense. I 
they can choose to draw with the uh, blues as well if they don't want me to hit something. Yeah. So it does say play, which means I can play land. Uh, I mean, we're not actually doing that bad here. We can smash both of those. Is it asking me to do 12 damage? Okay. Wait, I might as well just pay 7, right? Wait, no, that doesn't make sense either. Okay, X is 6. There, there we go. I always mess this up. Yes. All right, we can go for some mill. Thankfully, even if they kill Atris here, we don't take lethal on the board, which it does look like is about to happen. Arcane Bombardment off the top. Ooh, that's very good too. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 mana. So right, we'll just pass here. Get the trigger of the Celestis. That's really bad for us, isn't it? Alright, well, let's fire it off. And then they can just do it again from the graveyard, but... It's fine. Oh, no, they don't have another double black. That resolves. Bounce, kill, block. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, this works. Hold, baby. Dude, Celestis life gain doing work here. They only have eight cards left in their deck, too. Alright, so what is left in my deck? Seize the Spoils, Fire Prophecy. Seize the Spoils here. Fire Prophecy is one of these two cards. I could also hit an instant or sorcery off of them. 
One, two, three, draw. I think I'm supposed to just keep the crab. As sad as this is. That's actually a really good draw. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no! Alright, GG. It probably didn't matter, but... It's going to turn into a 3-3. Three, three. GG. Yeah, I don't think it mattered. They needed to exile the Thief of Sanity, so I didn't mill him as much, but... Actually, it maybe it mattered. Who knows? If they were drawing ECD? No, but ECD was last card regardless. Yeah. I think we want that. Do we want to just try to flip the map ASAP, or wait? What part is playing Yorian? Jesus. What's up, Seacook? Thanks for the seven months. GG's. Yeah, I don't know if you could have won, though, even if you took the Thief. Aw. Oh, Alright, well. Now I won't even bother using my treasure. I think we determined that no, you cannot cleave. It's a cruel, cruel summer. They're playing, uh, probably playing the uh, the Bant uh, flicker deck, or the token deck, or both. I don't really need either of these. So. You got me. <laughs> Ooh, that is a juicy target. Oh, man. Kill the Cathar, get my Atris back. Juicy. I guess I have to let that flip, don't I? Oh, well. Magic Paradiddle. Thanks for the four months. They might just pass and put Yorian in their hand. I'm fine with that. I don't mind taking some hits for a little bit. Alright, I'll just fire this off.
Ward! Ooh, they're gonna flicker their brute, giving me Atrus. Sweet, I'm okay with this. It's gonna come back as the 3-3. Three, three. They don't get to steal, steal a creature. Oh, they didn't even wait until I paid the ward. Whoopsies. Decline! Oh, wait! It counters the spell. I messed up. I could have paid three life for a three, two, right? Yeah. I could have paid three life to get a three, two. Which I probably would have done. Oh, well. Whatever. You win some, you spew some. This is Menace. I wouldn't have gained three life. Would I? Oh, no, no. Target player gains three life. Yeah, so it would have just been a free... Right. Right, right, right. It was a free, uh... Free three, two. Just threw it away. Chicken Jeffy, thanks for the prime sub. So, in fact, they next leveled me. By, by casting Ephemerate prior to, uh... Me paying the ward, they next leveled me into not paying the ward and losing out on a 3-2. <laughs> Big brain! Big brain. Right, they're gonna O-ring my vision. Because the ward counters the spell unless I pay for the ward. Whatever that might be. It did target. It's just I didn't pay the ward. Lol, debated. <clears throat> They might just go Emergent Sequence and pass. But if they cast another spell, they get to flip their Brute. So maybe that's tempting for them. Counter, bounce, token, draw. Bounce, token, draw. Wish I had that gambit back. I'm just gonna keep taking the ones. For the love of fun, chat. I mean, this is already basically... Oh, wait! Did I miss lethal? No, no, no. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Lorehold Command, I told you. It's the bee's knees. And you know how many knees that bees have? Like 50. Boop, 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 boop. Half the comments on my YouTube. Uh, so good. Oh, 
Why is it constantly blue red? Yeah, I can't watch any more blue red. Keep drafting blue red. <laughs> tubers, always tubers. Yeah, buddy. It's our friend Lorehold. So I opted to play Atris this turn because if I played Lotus, I wouldn't be able to play anything but Prophecy. I don't want to just pass with Denial open. Next turn we can go Lotus, hold up Denial. Ooh, free two mana spell? Oh, no. Thanks for the Celestis activation, buddy. I'll play my game at instant speed. Look at this hand. Intervention X is three. If I want them to draw two cards, I would get a five drop out of my deck, which you know what that could be. Double vision. Double vision! Whoop, 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 Man, being able to do everything at instant speed is kind of juicy. Not gonna lie. They probably have spell swindle or something. Okay. That's fine. And now, now, <laughs> I will craft your demise. You fool. Tyrion was a fool to have trusted me. Oh god, why did I play out that land? So we want to cast something on their turn and then cast something on our turn. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. That's actually pretty darn good here, too. bounce their treasure. Hey, value! 
food. Okay. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Can we somehow lethal them with this? I don't think this is lethal, but it's definitely good. Because we have to choose the same modes on these. Probably should just play it safe. And I don't think I need to draw cards here. Oh wait, do I have any counters left in my deck? I have Gambit? No, I don't have... I guess I have a le... This is a May? No, this is a Forest. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to draw extra cards. I think I'm just going to play it safe. Well, it's not lethal because Lear can also block one, right? Maybe they have a Mizix's Mastery or something? Right, that's not even good. Oh, I messed up on the targeting. Oh wait, no, it doesn't matter. Wait, I could have played. I could have only paid. Yeah, never mind. I paid one extra mana. Or conjecture, nothing to return. Yadok John, I think it's the eight months. Num num. Do 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 do. <laughs> Everybody go draft blue red, so I can't do it anymore. ton of decks, they're just super out of date. They're like out of date pre-COVID. Maybe even a little bit before COVID. Or rather, definitely still before COVID. At this point, the, the decks are probably like five or six years out of date. <laughs> Fine, I won't slam Lotus. There's nothing to do with it anyways. I could just activate Reese and draw a card. Oh wait, is it actually like a Watsi, a Wizards hosted thing? Yeah, I 
let them draw a card. Oh well, whatever. Sacrifice the crab or sacrifice the clue? I'm gonna sacrifice the clue because I don't got time to invest two mana into that. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna go then. I might not play in any like event, but I will probably be there playing some games just for casual funds. They were supposed to play a 5-drop so I could get my double vision. Garbage. Get it out of my deck. Crab. Block. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, let's go with this first. Kitty cats. Eight. Do I even need to hold open the uh, Sylvangar's command here? I probably don't. We're double spelling, so I can uh, trigger the Celestis as well. You know what's going to suck? They could very easily have a Tristani here. I poo, thanks for the 26 months. I guess that wouldn't suck that bad, but they would steal the cat back. I would keep the tokens. Whoa, have not seen anybody cast Battle Screech in this format yet. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, I don't really care if they make a bunch of tokens. Ooh! That's a lot of card draw. Or at least it would have been. Ah, I shake my hand, yada yada yada. Aggro doesn't exist. Aggro doesn't exist. We need that for double black, so. Land, pass. Land, pass. Obviously this is not great, but... If I just let that sit on the battlefield, it's gonna deal a lot of damage to me because I'm not gonna wanna kill it. Just super mana efficient. Deal. All we wanted were lands, so getting two lands was nice. Drago.
Actually, I'm going to resolve Celestis this turn. Wow. That was the fast... They didn't even think about it. It was just immediate. What if that wasn't a card you could counter with Great Shark? <laughs> I feel like if I had cast an enchantment, they would have still flashed that out. I mean, we are losing to it, no doubt. Goodbye, crab. Creature in my graveyard? Oh, I have the Atris, that's right. Eh, I mean, it feels pretty likely they have another counter. Luckily, a lot of the things we have are instant speed. Ooh, that's what they had. Copy it. Nice. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, wait, I needed to tap all my black. Never mind. We'll go ahead and run out the vessel, even though they can just shoot it with the Colagons. It's no big deal. It's the same as discarding it, which is basically the mode that they were going to choose anyways. Oh, I could just be dead to fight with fire here, too. Or a lot of the other X burn spells. Actually, I think that's what they're doing. No, okay, it wasn't. Get back, shark. Wait, what? Did they just shoot me for two with that instead? What is happening? I'm scared. Why do I feel like I'm dead? Gambit doesn't do anything if you don't have anything on the board. It's just 7 mana draw a card. Or rather, I guess... Draw one card, zero mana. I don't have a white source for that yet. Why did I go second main phase? Uh, I was debating if I wanted to cast Atris, and I didn't decide to until after. Originally, I was going to Siphon Insight plus Hold Up Epiphany. that they get it all right I'm gonna have to pull the trigger on something here in a turn or two ow all right I'm expecting I'm dead now Yeah, I think I messed this game up. Well, I mean, they're tapped out. Oh, wait, no, they just got six treasures. Never mind, we're dead. I threw this game. We played too passively. Too reactionary.
Like, we were definitely putting on them on having some number of uh, instants that either countered or otherwise interacted with us otherwise. Go for turn two insight here. Can't target that one. This hand's not very good. I think we just snap block the Polychronos when it attacks. Get it down to a 3-3. This is kind of like taking two cards as well. Excuse me as well, but I think we want these, whatever they, whatever they are. Oh wow, nice. <laughs> it has not. Yeah, let's just contempt this right now. I think we're actually doing pretty good here. And even a Planeswalker we're not too concerned about since we have the command. I guess if they play like the Great Henge that'll be a little bit annoying. Bunch of rando creatures. Okay, let's figure this out. I got six manas. What we do? Probably just smashing for four. Six scoop is a pretty good play, too. Next turn, we can go command plus prophecy. Mm. Ooh, that's juicy. But they can only get back Valky right now. Oh, they didn't even do it. And I just need to kill that now.
That flyer is going to be a problem too, huh? I could actually soak in Zahn here. But I think we got to cut the Silumgar, or we got to cast the Silumgars. Two, four, six, seven. I'm going to have eight mana next turn. Which is not looking good. We're definitely bouncing this. I guess I have to target one of these. That's what I'm saying. I'd have to bounce the Predator. <clears throat> So they're going to sack the Polychronos, or rather, sack the token, make it a 4 4. Oh, maybe they do sack the Polychronos just to get it in the grave. Wait. No, I am giving minus 3, minus 8. It doesn't matter which one they sack. Oh, I should have responded, right? True. Well, now they don't get to. They would have been able to recast Polychronos. This way they attacked with the Paradise Druid, so they didn't have one extra mana. Time Warp doesn't do anything if you don't have anything to do with it, after it, before it. That's fine. Oh, now they're not attacking with the Paradise Druid? Ooh. This is not a human, is it? Whatever. Doesn't really matter. I have to find an answer to the flyer anyways. I don't know if we have any outs that cost three mana. I guess we died because I just didn't draw anything. What were the haymakers? No scholar, no epiphany, no, com no command. All right, GG's. GG's. All right, on the play, how do we look? Zero black sources, snap keep. Unplayable hand, snap freaking keep. Do you believe in the heart of the cards? Because if you do, you will find your way home. We might lose without casting anything. And even if we draw a swamp, it's not like our hand all of a sudden becomes amazing, but... <laughs> well, that could be good. Alright, just any untapped land next turn and I'll be happy. So I get for scrying Shatter Skull to the bottom. We're dead. I want to slam the freaking vessel, but now I can't. We're going to outburst end of turn and see what they do.
Sure. Chromatic lantern making all those lands pretty. Uh oh. Alright. Slam it. It's not a non bow because you don't have to cast the card. We might be GG'd here, though. We'll find out. They're going to copy something nasty. They didn't, though. Hold up. Hold the phone. I guess I should cast something here. I assume Rutha is unkillable right now. I don't remember. If I Silumgar's command the Sublime Epiphany, Rutha still triggers? Or it doesn't? I mean, I might as well do this now to make sure, but... Okay. I know, I know that came up a ton in Strixhaven or whatever. It just hasn't happened in so long, I couldn't remember. That was a very large blowout, though. Yeah, I mean, that they're, they're going to have a really bad time trying to come back from that. We actually got a Arcane Bombardment win. Feels good, man. <laughs> well, you won because my power level was over 9,000. Clearly. Where's the Kaizo player? I don't know. Go look at the Pokemon tab. This is a pretty nice Kolagon's command. Double stone rain! Three mana double stone rain! No, we played against Domri a couple of times. Five drop? Uh oh. Yeah, oh. Finale for three. Like, Augur, I guess? Pada. Okay. I want to kill that now so we don't have to worry about uh, them playing a land for free off the top. Then we can just crack the clue. Or whatever. Yeah, clue. We're running them out of resources, chat. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Down to two cards in hand. Do I get greedy and double vision here first? 
Double vision here doesn't even do anything. It's probably better to play out the map. I think I like mapping here first. I don't think I need a wrath yet. They might punch my crab to get in for an extra seven, but... Nice, they didn't. I think getting the map was better. Because now we can go Wrath into presumably Wrath again next turn. If I really need to. Flipping the map here is huge game. The There was the uh, Paradoxical Outcome Reservoir deck. That one was pretty spicy too. Rendrock, thanks for the four months of Prime. I think I'm just taking whatever pile has two cards in it. I imagine Double Vision into Vraska's Contempt is probably going to lock things up pretty easily. Bingo, bingo, bongo, baby. Let's go. Hi. We might just see a scoop. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Yikers. No, come back. We're going to shoot them for six, gain six, make two three twos, and then we're going to get a Scholar and make another three two and give all the creatures plus one plus one haste. No, we were going to give haste from the graveyard cast. Alright, nice little seven winner there, maximizing our games played with a seven two, just as I calculated. And now it's time for a stupid, sexy aggro deck.